Good morning and welcome to your conference Outlook program for day four, our final day. And I'm delighted to tell you that taking us through our conference program this morning is none other than our brand new ESCMED president. Please welcome Mario Poliak. Mr. President, should I say, sir? Yes, you can. From today, yes. How does okay. it feel? It feels very nice. Uh, uh, so I worked uh, in the executive committee now for four years. Uh -huh. uh, we are seven members, equal members. So I'm taking this more as a chairman of the board and not as a president. So president is just presenting the society in front of the, of the other people. But actually, uh, all decisions usually are taken by consensus of all, all members of the executive committee. I love it. Presidential, but with a democratic yes, touch. Yes, something like this. Yeah. Superb. Now, democratically, sir, take us through our day today. This is day four, the last of our Congress days. It's been an amazing event so far. Yeah, so far we are very happy. So this is the largest ECMID ever. And most probably this is the largest, uh, in, largest meeting this year in the field of infection disease and clinical microbiology. Anywhere in the world. It's fantastic. So to attract people, usually you should provide the last day something which is very special. It's called late breaker sessions. Mm -hmm. That means... Uh, usually people submit their, their, their work six or seven months before the meeting, but we offer always for the brand new uh, knowledge to be presented at the, at the meeting, and this is called late breaker sessions. Mm -hmm. So we received this year the record number of the, of the abstracts. We re re review this in the 10 days uh, approximately, and then we, are, we, are, we will present the best abstracts, late, late breaker abstracts today. Looking forward to those. Yeah. What comes after those? So after that, it's even more popular. So it's the most popular session we have now for the, for the, in the last five years, in the last ECMID, it's so-called clinical ground rounds. Mm -hmm. So we will, the six of our young colleagues will present the most challenging cases um, they faced in the last year in front of the up to 1,000 people. Wow. And uh, the, there will be also on audition the six top experts in the field, which will moderate, ask the questions, and the people will interact and learn how to, how to, to work with the most challenging cases in infectious disease and clinical microbiology. They're going to be nervous. The rest of us are just going to enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Then after the coffee break, we have, as every day, we have so-called keynote lectures. So there will be two, the last two this ECMID. So the first one will be about the very complicated topic, uh, but for us not so complicated. It's a translation of evolutionary biology findings into antibiotic stewardship strategies. Wow. It's a very, very, very new and modern way how we can improve the antibiotic stewardship, looking and teaching from the, from the molecular evolution. And the second one, it's also very, very innovative procedure to treat more serious uh, infections uh, using the microbiota, microbiota transplantation. Uh, and this will be delivered by Vincent Young from Ann Arbor. I actually interviewed Vincent Young previously for yeah. ECMA TV for yeah. the YouTube channel. Um, and he talked about fecal transplantation, which is a fascinating new area. And I, I think this is going to be standing room only. At yeah, this, this will be the, 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 the main major part will be, will be the, the fecal transportation, but also the improvement because now we need to standardize the procedure because regulatory agencies was against our standard procedure where we just make this uh, on a very primitive way, but now we are controlling the, the quality and standardizing uh, the, the procedure. And it seems this will be the now the only choice for the for the proportion of the patients in which there is no other therapy. Wow. And you talked about global, both of those keynote presenters, one coming from Israel, the other one coming from the US. I mean, this really is a global event now. Yeah, so we are it? just looking on, on the US because, you know, in some regulatory um, uh, agencies, so US usually uh, have a much tighter regulation on the drugs than, than, than Europe. So they, we will learn from them what is the experience, how they will work with the, with the FDA, and then we will also present uh, the European uh, results. Terrific. Still doing the e-posters and the posters over lunch as absolutely, well? Absolutely, absolutely. This is the standard. So, so we chose for the last day uh, uh, different topics which was not covered before, like gram-negatives, infections, and infections of the brain. Fantastic. So all in all, a really action-packed day all the way through. And all that remains really is to enjoy the day for our delegates and look forward, of course, to our next ECMID Congress. Absolutely. I'm invited all people who attend this ECMID to the next ECMID, which will be in Vienna one year from now. 
and we expect even more people than, than here. Vienna is a very attractive city, so all of you, you are invited here to go there. Thank there you, you very go. much. And your brand new president gives you a personal invitation. So Absolutely. enjoy the balance of your day, whatever you're doing. Make sure that you're working through your conference documentation. You've got to know the place by now, and that's all well and good. We hope you have a phenomenal day. And our president and myself look forward to seeing you next year in Vienna. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.